Now this next bloke is right up there with the very best. He's played with the, the top bands and orchestras right around the world. He has written film scores, I think six film scores, and award-winning songs. He's a professor of music. He's even played in the Midday Show Band with uh, Jeff Harvey. I'm delighted to say he's uh, right out front where he belongs today. Would you please welcome Alan Zavod with Tribute to Gershwin. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Fantastic. Great stuff. Now, did you notice as well that that was, uh, that was all shot uh, by Dave on one, uh, one, camera, one camera? Only one camera on that, which is fantastic. Well done. Fantastic. Now, listen, from Frank Zappa, you've toured with Frank Zappa, to Gershwin the Classics and Jazz, do you, which do you prefer? I prefer it all, really. It's uh, no exact preference. I think it's important for me as an artist, as a film writer and a performer, to cross many sections of styles. You were classically trained, though? Yes, I was actually trained in Melbourne at the uh, Conservatorium. And then I went over to Boston to study jazz on the recommendation of Duke Ellington when he was visiting Australia in 69. The great, late, great Ellington, yes. of course, who yes. was a great innovator and contributor to the jazz world. But you spent half your time away now, don't you? Yes, well, actually, I went for a long stretch. I went for 16 years to in the States studying and performing and yeah. travelling. What, how did you get into writing film scores? Was I right in saying you've now written six film yes, scores? Yes, uh, six majors for Australia, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, actually it started out with um, 
the Death of a Soldier, which was a film about Melbourne, about an American soldier in 1942 who murdered uh, a lot of Australian women and yeah. caused a great kerfuffle. Uh, from there, I, I guess playing with the Glenn Miller Orchestra was the, the key to that. The, I heard that I was playing with the band, led by Buddy DeFranco in, I think it was in 72. They said, well, Alan would be perfect to write the score for our movie because it requires that 40s feel. Yes. And then it just snowballed, you know, one thing leads to another. And, uh, is that, I mean, is that very satisfying to, uh, to see something you've created in your brain when uh, your head just work on film where you've actually, where the music plays an integral part of, uh, of the story? It is satisfying. I think music in film is one dimensional in that it is part of the whole the whole spectrum of things. You're working with actors, directors, the sound, the effects, and it's very satisfying if the music moves as an integral part of all that. Yes. Are you about to go overseas? Or again? Yes, I'm actually about to go overseas to do a movie for Ed Pressman, of course, who produced uh, the movie Plenty with Meryl Streep. Right. But you've got it's a show here in Melbourne. I've got a want. show as a farewell just before I go over Where's at that? the Reef in Melbourne on the 9th of September. All right, terrific. All right, good luck with that. Good luck with the, with the new movie as well. Would you please thank uh, Alan Zavod for us? Thank you very much. <clears throat> and we'll come back um, with some laughs from Elliot Gobbett and Treble Marmalade. Thanks very much.